Hello everyone, this is Mr. Pretzel here, back with some Minecraft, here with a tutorial video showing you seven excellent creations that you should have on your world. Most of these are for beginner Minecrafters in the early game, however they can be very useful even in the later game. Number one, we have this excellent cool looking chicken cooker designed by myself of course it's probably been made elsewhere but I did not copy anyone else for this one specifically um, the redstone is fairly simple you have a barrel a hopper a lever to toggle it two observers a hopper so a second hopper a dispenser a slab lava bunch of building blocks, I chose glass, and a bunch of chickens. What is this lever doing? Well, it is turning off this dispenser, as when that is not on, the dispenser will continue to fire even when there's no eggs in it. So, in order for it to work, you must turn the, I mean, you must ensure that the lever is in the off or up position. When the chickens grow up, they will their hitbox will enter the lava and they will cook. Number two, we have uh, an auto smelter. So it's not as elaborate as a super smelter. However, it quickly and automatically cooks anything and smelts anything that can be smelted. It requires six hoppers, six chests, and two furnaces of your choice. It can be a blast smelter, a smoker, or a regular furnace, depending on your needs. Number three, a melon slash pumpkin farm. It will automatically pop off the pumpkin or melon as soon as it grows and collect it in this chest. Just a piece of advice, this Minecraft world has been sped up to allow you to see this machine work more efficiently and quickly. Number four, a stack of anvils. It may seem simple, and it is relatively simple, however it can be very useful. As whenever an anvil breaks, instead of having to place another one down, you can simply break the bottom one, and you will get more anvils. Number five. We have a cobblestone generator. It's a manual one, meaning that you must mine it yourself. A quick swap into survival mode will allow me to show you how it works. There are two sources of lava, one hopper, one chest, a stair for access, and this is how it kind of looks, a bunch of building blocks. The hopper must be directed into the chest, which can be done by facing the chest and placing the hopper. As you can see, it has also gone into the chest. Number six, we have a semi-automatic door. One side is automatic by a pressure plate, and the other side is manual via a button. Many people will tell me, I know redstone so horribly, I hardly know how to create a red open a door using redstone. So. For those of you out there, here's how. Use a button right next to the door. Give me any sort of door. Iron requires redstone, however. And on the inside, if you want to make things easier for yourself, you can place a pressure plate, allowing for you to simply walk over it and it will open and close. If you are having troubles, entering the door in time before it closes, you may want to use a wooden button as it will hold the door open for a longer period of time. Last but not least, number seven, a toggleable nether portal. To turn it on, you press this button, and to turn it off, you must press this button, which will send a bit of water through and collect the water afterwards. It is uh, the most advanced uh, redstone creation here. 
However, it is not that advanced. It requires two redstone dust, no, three redstone dust, an observer, two dispensers, a flint and steel. It is recommended that you fill this entire dropper, or dispenser to be specific, do not get the two confused, with I'm breaking three flint and steel or fire charges. I'm breaking three flint and steel is a much better choice. And in this one, you must place a water bucket. If you have any questions, please respond below in the comments. And I enjoyed making this video. See you all next time. And goodbye. Thank you so much for watching that video. I enjoyed making it. It's a little bit different than what I usually make. But, you know, you got to broaden up your range a little bit. Hoping to record another video on the Pretzel and Empire soon. And see you all next time. Goodbye.